So back in 2017, when I was in high school, this was my daily morning routine on weekends. I would wake up around 11 a.m. I think, because I, I was up all night last night, you know, scrolling on my phone. I'd wake up around 11 a.m., uh, my alarm would be going off. I'd grab my phone to turn off my alarm, then I would check Reddit. Once I scrolled through Reddit and reached the bottom of all the new posts, I would go to YouTube, to my subscription feed. Once I was done watching all the new YouTube videos that came out, then I would go onto Reddit again. I would just jump between all these apps for about two hours, either to the point where my shitty phone ran out of battery or my parents were calling me to eat lunch or I was so bored that it compelled me to get out of bed or I had to take a piss. I was holding in my piss for so long that I had to go. One of these reasons would be the reason why two hours later I would wake up and get out of bed. So for most of my life, phone addiction was the thing I was struggling with the most. And in my opinion, it is one of the hardest things to actually break because I've tried everything. I've tried those app blockers. I've tried straight up deleting my social media accounts. I've tried, you know, putting my phone away in another room. I've tried everything. But if you know, if you've tried these methods, you know that you just redownload the app. You disable the blocker. You know, it's pretty much impossible. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you the only method that actually worked for me to actually quit your phone addiction. This method, if you follow it, you will destroy your phone addiction. By the way, I'm super excited. I've created a free online community where you can meet like-minded people, exchange value, and it's just a good time overall. First link in the description, join the free online community now. So the first thing you need to realize is that quitting your phone addiction, stopping using your phone is great. It's amazing, like amazing, okay, yeah, stop using your phone. But if you have nothing to replace your phone addiction with, then it's pointless. Because look, if you stop using your phone so much throughout the day, if you stop scrolling so much throughout the day, but what you're replacing it with is nothing, you know, if you stop using your phone and you replace it with sitting on your couch and staring at the wall, then you're not gonna actually quit your phone because what's gonna happen is you're gonna stop using your phone. Like for example, if you wake up in the morning and you have nothing to do in the morning, you have no plans for the day, nothing to get up out of bed and actually do, then you're gonna stop scrolling on your phone in the morning, but you're gonna realize that you have nothing to do. So you're just gonna go back to scrolling. So that's the first step. You have to have, you have to know exactly why you're quitting your phone addiction. You need to have a reason. You need to have something to replace it with. Kind of like a purpose, a mission in your life, something that you're working towards. You know, you have to know that, okay, if I stopped scrolling for three hours every day, I would use that extra time to study more. I would use that extra time to work on my fitness more. I would use that extra time to make meet more people. I would work on my business more. You know, you need to have something, some kind of mission, some kind of thing in your life that you're working towards to replace the phone addiction. So if you don't know why, you need to know why you're stopping your phone addiction. If you don't know why you're doing it, then you have to discover it now. You know, I've made a bunch of videos, like I think it was called um, Why Your Life Is So Boring, Outwork Everyone By Being Bored, something like that. Basically, you just need time to think and contemplate on your life and realize what it is you truly want with your life and find what it is you wanna replace your phone addiction with. So that's the first thing, you need a why, you need a purpose for stopping your phone addiction so that you have it something to replace it with. So like the goal is, look, people will tell you like, oh man, it's so toxic to quit, tell people to stop using social media. It's so toxic to tell people to stop using TikTok because it's fun, you know, it's a great part of life. TikTok, why would I stop using it? I love it so much. Well, here's the thing. So the goal is to have a life so fun, so interesting that you don't even want to use your phone because your life is so interesting, you want to live it, that you don't even have an interest to scroll on TikTok, to scroll on Instagram because that sucks compared to your real life. So that's the goal, to be honest. Like people would say like, oh, you know, it's toxic to stop using your phone. Why would you tell people to stop using TikTok? I agree, but like, like the truth is people don't even enjoy TikTok and Instagram that much. Like if you watch someone who's on TikTok, if you watch someone who's on Instagram, they're not like, oh my God, this is so fun. I'm loving this, bro. They're sitting there and they're kind of like brain dead. They're kind of just like staring at their screen, scrolling. Every now and then they might, might do a small laugh or something, but they're not actually enjoying it that much. So why would you revolve your life around something that you don't even enjoy that much. So in my opinion, it's better to quit this addiction, quit this thing that's constantly distracting you and pulling you away from the life you actually wanna live. It's much better to focus on building a life that you actually wanna live. So that's the goal. Okay, so the second step to actually quitting your phone addiction, this one's pretty important. That Okay, so basically what's gonna happen is you're gonna catch yourself. You're gonna be scrolling on your phone for two hours and you're gonna catch yourself and you're gonna realize like, okay, I've been scrolling on my phone for an hour, but I really need to study. I really need to focus on my purpose, my mission, this thing that I'm working on in my life. You'll catch yourself using your phone and you'll kind of wake up and put away your phone and start working on the thing that you know you need to do, right? But here's the thing. You've probably been using your phone for many years, many months. So this addiction that you've developed with your phone is so 
deeply ingrained into your nervous system that it's not gonna change overnight. For example, someone who tries to quit smoking, someone who qu tries to quit drugs, someone who tries to quit um, junk food, it doesn't happen overnight. It takes them many months, many weeks to quit that addiction. So it's the same thing with your phone usage. People have this dream where it's like, okay, tomorrow I'm never gonna use my phone again. I'm never gonna scroll on TikTok again. I'm never gonna scroll on Instagram again. But the reality is this is a fantasy. It's impossible. It's impossible to just wake up one morning and go, okay, I'm never gonna scroll on my phone again because it is so deeply ingrained into your brain, the habits, that it's gonna take a while to drop. So here's something I talked, so I was talking to this guy on my paid online community. Second link in the description if you're interested, like I just help, I just help guys like make progress in their life. Anyway, I was talking to this guy in my community and basically I told him that, you know, there's no point hating yourself and getting so mad every time you waste a bunch of time scrolling on your phone. Because this habit is so deeply ingrained into you that it's gonna take a while to quit. So here's what you need to do. You need to just catch yourself using your phone and then go back to the thing that you're working on in your life. Go back to your mission. I like to think of it as like, so it's, I like to think of it as going on a journey on a horse, right? So your ideal productive day, your ideal day of like going to the gym, working on your studies, you know, talking to people, your ideal day is like going on a journey on a horse. But every now and then you're gonna fall off your horse. So, you know, you're gonna get distracted going on your phone. You're gonna get distracted jerking off to porn you're gonna get distracted fucking you know you're just gonna get distracted you're gonna fall off your horse you're gonna fall off your journey that's fine instead of getting mad like oh shit why did i fall off the horse i'm so mad just get back on the horse get back on the journey that's exactly what it's like with quitting your phone addiction if you find yourself wasting another morning scrolling if you find yourself losing another afternoon scrolling that's fine as the important thing is that you're realizing it and you realize that you're scrolling on your phone and then you go back to what you actually want to do repeat this hundreds of times over many weeks many months and that's how your phone addiction is going to disappear it's going to take you a long time to rewire your brain rewire your neurons to get to the point where you're no longer have this habit so deeply ingrained into you. So it's gonna take a while, it's not gonna drop overnight. So there are two approaches to actually quitting your phone addiction. This is the final step. One, you can obsess over your screen time. So you can find your weekly average screen time. If you use iPhone, it should be in the settings. Um, you can find your weekly average screen time and just have it to be, be your goal to cut that down by like 30 minutes every week. Just cut that down a little bit every week and make it your goal to just reduce it over time. That's the first approach. But the second approach I did was I just got more and more and more obsessed with my purpose, with my mission in my life, what, what I was working towards. So for example, like I was getting more into my studies, more into, um, more into working on this YouTube channel. And the more I got obsessed, the more I got into that, the more I had something to replace my phone addiction with. And I just focused on that. Like if I caught myself using my phone, that's fine, no problem, just come back to the activity, right? So as I did that over time, my phone addiction started to go away. So I just kind of did it based on intuition. Instead of exactly tracking, like specifically, the number of hours I did every week. I just kind of did it intuitively where I just kind of like in the back of my mind thought, okay, let's just reduce this over time. So that works too. So there are kind of like two approaches. But yeah, bro, like, look, I think quitting your phone addiction is one of the hardest addictions to quit. Like people don't talk about this enough. It's really hard to stop scrolling on your phone all day. Like you walk around the streets and you see everyone's like scrolling on their phone. Everyone's addicted to their phones. It's really tough to see. It's really hard to see, but that's the truth. It's such a difficult habit to break. So hundred percent like good Good luck quitting this habit because once you're free from your phone once you're actually free from this device that's like hooking you into it you start to actually feel free you start to actually experience life and enjoy the things in the real world rather than feeling like you have to be constantly stimulated when you're sitting at dinner constantly stimulated when you're walking so good luck quitting this habit see you in the next one